Hey everyone, Dan here at Fanatic, and today I wanna to talk about Schwalbe tires. Now you've probably heard of this brand. They're based out of Cologne, Germany, and they make exclusively bicycle tires. So they're very specific. They put a lot of R&D into this stuff. They've actually got their North American distribution warehouse just north of us in Ferndale, which is pretty cool. So we get to know a few of the guys that work there. And they've just totally redone their nomenclature for how they call out their tires. If you spend any time looking for mountain bike tires, you've probably been kind of confused and flustered by all the different acronyms that different brands use, the different ways that they describe their the construction of the tire and the rubber compounds. So Schwalbe decided to take a stab at making that easier for us to understand. They've now simplified the construction, which has to do with the layers of fabric inside the tire, you know, things they use to stiffen the sidewalls and stuff like that, into five names. That's Super Downhill, Super Gravity, Super Trail, Super Ground, and Super Race, as you imagine those go from aggressive to lightweight and, you know, cross-country race ready versus more burly and puncture-proof on the downhill side. And they've, last year actually, they launched their Attics Tire compounds, which is four different compounds, very simply named Ultra Soft, Soft, Speed Grip, and Speed, which again is, has to do with softer compounds that are more grippy, maybe a little slower rolling, to harder compounds that roll more quickly for, again, cross-country racing versus downhill racing at the other end of the spectrum. I've picked a selection of sort of four of our favorite tires here at the shop that we think cover a broad range of applications that you, our customers, are building bikes up to use. So I wanted to touch on these. We'll start off with a, an amazing all-around tire, and it has been an amazing all-around tire, and has gotten even better now, the Knobby Nick. They've completely redesigned this tread pattern for 2020 in the launch of their Super line. Here you can see the brand new one versus the old one. Now this is a fast rolling tire. Uh, it's got good braking, it's, it's not Highly aggressive, the knobs don't stick up really tall, which creates a slower rolling tire, but they are fairly aggressive. They've got enough space in between them that they will shed some mud fairly well. And you can see with the new tire here that they've added support on the side of the cornering knobs. One complaint with the old knobby nick was that the under hard cornering <clears throat> the side knobs would start to push over. So they've added this, this extra buttressing on the sides there to make it better under, under cornering, which you know on these aggressive trail bikes today, you can really push into. Uh, another thing that you can see they've changed is they've changed the center tread by adding these three knobs every every you know alternating spacing. That's gonna give you a little more braking center knobs like that that are horizontally aligned under braking will grab a lot of earth and slow you down more quickly. So a redesigned knobby neck for 2020. We're loving this tire so far and it's great for all sorts of trail bike applications, you know, hard pack, you know, wetter regions that don't get super muddy and super swampy depending on the season. Uh, this is gonna be a great tire. Next in the line is the Hans Dampf. Now, this was also redesigned, this tread pattern, about two years ago. I wasn't terribly fond of the first one, but I've actually run the new one as a rear tire on my downhill bike even, in, especially in drier months. <clears throat> it is unusually uh, bi-directional, so you can actually mount it up either direction, but you can see how they've cupped the center knobs in alternating ways so that you're getting that good braking power as you skid down the trail. I like to ride, run this tire in the back with a more aggressive tire up front, but again, faster rolling than some of more, our more aggressive options. It's got these nice widely spaced cornering knobs that do shed mud fairly well. The center knobs aren't terribly tall, so they don't bite into to deeper terrain, you know, loamier conditions, muddier conditions as well, but it's a fast rolling tire that's really fun at like a bike park. Hans Dampf. Coming up next is the Big Betty. Now this is a tire that they've sort of relaunched. 
so you may not be familiar with the name, but they've designed it to be paired with their Magic Mary, which is a, we'll talk about in a second. This typically will be run as a rear tire. You can see the nice horizontal center knobs that are great for braking. They've got these cups in them that'll really grab into the ground and provide a lot of braking force for you. And these really tall, sturdy, widely spaced cornering knobs, which are gonna shed mud really well and provide a lot of support for, again, aggressive gravity-oriented riding, which is what these last two tires are specifically designed for. This is the Big Betty. We're offering it in 2.4 because again, it's designed as a rear tire. You don't need quite as wide of a tire in the back, sort of just along for the ride. Uh, it's not steering for you. Uh, so the Big Betty. My coworker Nick has been running this with a Magic Mary on the front and he's absolutely loving it in these fall conditions that we have out here right now. And last, but certainly not least, one of our favorite all-time tires is the Magic Mary. This is approaching a mud spike. It's not quite the Dirty Dan, which is Schwalbe's mud spike, but it has these very tall, very aggressive knobs, really sturdy cornering knobs, and awesome braking down the center. You see these tall knobs that, again, will dig into the ground and really slow you down when you need it. I run this in the winter front and rear. Uh, in the summer on my downhill bike, I keep it in the front just because it feels super confidence inspiring. It really lets you like push into corners uh, and now with their super soft compound, it's just really, really confidence inspiring and I like it a lot. Not the fastest rolling tire out there, which is why I sometimes like to pair it with that Hohenstampf. Now I'm gonna be trying that big, big Betty here pretty soon, but the Magic Mary is sort of loved by all. A few years ago when it was starting to gain popularity, you would see sponsored or riders, professional riders sponsored by other brands running this tire and sharpening out the, the logo. So you know that this thing is good. Now, if you have any questions about any of these, any of the, you know, the, the casing and construction um, of these tires, which Schwalbe does have a pretty good cutaway sort of videos of how these tires are constructed and what the different super tires have inside them, which is, I think, pretty cool. Check that out. Let us know in the comments below. You can also always give us a call at our phone number, 1-844-FANATIC. That's 844-326-2845. Or shoot us an email at sales at fanaticbike.com. Thanks for watching, y'all. Remember to subscribe to our channel. We like making these videos and that helps us out a lot. We'll see you next time.